Joshua James. I'm Chris Helix. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's been a long time, Chris. Yeah, the original Outlaw hasn't been on OWO in a while. I mean, probably a foot of beer to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, I think the official last time you were on the channel, it was during one of the pay-per-views, but that was like way before the pandemic. So I think it was 2019, the official last time we saw you on this channel. Yeah, I can't even remember what pay-per-view, honestly. I think it was SummerSlam. Good one, though. It could have been. But anyways, what we're here to do since the, we're getting ready to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of Oregon Wrestling Observer, we couldn't, have a, we couldn't have an anniversary without the original Outlaw because you've been a big part of my show for 10 years, too. Like it, like we were just talking about, it started pretty much like at my parents' house when, when I first started my show and all the videos we used to do back then. Yeah, it's been a long time since we got out of the the side room there. Yeah. <laughs> Not a basement. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It looked like one, but it wasn't. Yeah. But those were fun times. But uh, what was the your favorite OWO memory that you could think of? Mm, probably, I can't remember if we did an OWO on it, but it was a DOA, like, hardcore. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, event. It was probably one of my all-time favorite ones we went to. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the DOA shows were fun, especially like when we all went. Those were those were really fun times. The interviews and seeing some awesome DOA matches. They're getting ready to celebrate an anniversary next month. Oh, 14 years. Uh, also, e ECCW. Uh, when, when we, we went to Canada. When yeah, we, went to Canada, we need to go back. Very very fun event. Oh yeah, definitely. Those were those were really fun. Uh, we need to go back to Canada. We are not just here to talk about the old OW episodes like I did the last video. What we're here to talk about, the old hardcore championship belt. <laughs> now, if you are a uh, old uh, a old subscriber that watched this channel, we did a lot of hardcore videos. Don't you like those were like legitimately like the funnest things that we ever did. It was like Chris and I, we were just like trying to think of ideas what to do with the hardcore videos and all that kind of stuff. Like we had so much fun moments and funny sketches that we all thought of. Like mostly some of them were like your idea, and um, the the mini golf course. Yes, that, that was a fun one. That that was really fun. Uh, throwing uh, the mask man in the back of the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did some kidnapping uh, back, back in the day. <laughs> Yeah, so what we're here to do is we're here to react to the old videos that the old hardcore videos that me and Chris were a part on. But we're doing something that Chris actually thought of. Uh, you explain what we're going to be doing, Chris. Well, I have some, uh, I guess you would call them just some spicy things laying around that uh, some people might call a challenge, others might just call a normal day. I uh, <laughs> had some uh, Hot Ones Los Calientes Verde chips uh it was like a pringles collab we did and some uh los Cal calientes rojo ones as well not sponsored uh, they're the spicier ones i guess yeah and then uh bean boozled fiery five we got uh sriracha jalapeno cayenne habanero in carolina reaper and then to uh just put the icing on the cake uh, we got some uh, scorpion pepper beef jerky by B and D Meats out of uh, Roseburg. <laughs> now here's the thing: we've done something like a spicy challenge on this channel a couple of times. Uh, the first one was the ghost pepper one. Remember that one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I remember that one. Doesn't matter which way you take a ghost pepper; they don't taste good. No, no. Uh, and then uh, I did a, a spicy smoothie. On my on YouTube channel, we just got nothing but spicy stuff and made it into a smoothie. Um, yeah, that wasn't. I was I I, I was sick from that. So, <laughs> but it, it was just it was fun to do. But so yeah, we're gonna react to some of the old hardcore videos while trying these out. So what are we gonna try out first? Uh, figure we start out. I honestly don't know what's spicier than what. Um, Maybe the Los Calientes Verdes Hot Ones chips. We'll start out with those. Never had the jelly beans, so. Okay, so this is <laughs> going to be a challenge for one of us. So, the first video we're going to be watching is episode of Match 7. It is where Chris made his debut on the hardcore videos. 
Here we go. So me and Josh did a No WO Fan 19 episode earlier. I've been seeing these hardcore matches that he's been doing. I think a frying pan needs to hit his face. The original outlaw Chris Helix, I'm going for that. Well, you look hardcore. weird without a beard. <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> it's like one tattoo. I think I've got like eight now. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that was the least spicy one. Those are great chips, though, honestly. Yeah. Um, wait till we get to the real hall. Okay. I, I've had these. I oh, had a very hard. I think he's going to need this. Hey, clean yourself up. <laughs> <laughs> what I remember is... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, what I remember is that somebody thought that I legitimately had busted you open. One of my neighbors, uh, I believe that was my next door neighbor, Jeannie. She actually thought that Chris hit me so hard that I cut me and had to show her. It's like, no, this is, it's fake blood. It's fake blood. So don't call don't call the ambulance <laughs> or police. So, and, I, yeah, I just remember that was like, I didn't know there was going to be any drama surrounded by any of these uh Oh, the hardcore matches, so. Yeah. But that's when my neighbor Jeannie found out that I was a YouTuber and you were a YouTuber, so she was like, oh, okay, so she knows now, so. <laughs> Understands the weirdness. Yes. And she's pretty much like us, too, so that's the one thing she's like, she's cool. So yeah. she knows. All right, so I, that, that wasn't spicy. Like, my mouth kind of tasted the spice, but it was just, like, more like. <sighs> yeah, more heat. Yes. Than anything. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think, what do you think, the sriracha one? Sriracha jelly bean? Sriracha? I hope that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> it could also be Carolina Reaper, so. Alright, so next up is match eight, where we actually get to see the debut of uh, the mask referee, <laughs> aka the commissioner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Chris Felix. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I forgot about the voice thing. I don't taste anything at the moment. The so called OWL Fed 19 Hardcore Champion. Hmm. I don't really taste anything. I just taste mostly juice. Mine was a little spicy, but I can't tell. I can't tell either. Probably sriracha. Mostly from the chips. No, mine definitely had some heat to it. I hope that wasn't Carolina Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of guessing on the jelly beans. It's hard to tell. Funny thing is, like, that mask that was... Oh, wow, the old Hardcore Championship belt. The one that you gave me. Oh, you still do? Still have that ECW. I still rock those sunglasses. This is nice. They're a little... Because I never won the belt from the original champion. Same with the, um, the, the mask that I was wearing in this one. man nobody knows his name. I guess that means I every that, champion I like that has one. been I know where it is now. Yeah. 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 Excuse me. Moose has Who the fuck are you? Moose. I am Moose. the official Oh man, this, is, this does not exist anymore. Really? They knocked that part down and it's now Matthew. like a business. Come on. Really? We just drove by it. It's like a... Oh wow. A that's my turn there now or something. Oh, <laughs> oh the 91 crown bit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh jeez. I don't look good in sweatpants, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I was rocking some chump there. <laughs> I love the fact that uh, we, we told what John what to do, but he was just like, uh, what do I do now? <laughs> I think somebody once told me uh like Whoever's car that was sounded really good, and I was like, that was like maybe a week or two after I went into a driveway and it tore the entire exhaust off. <laughs> so that was literally just because the car was a hunk of junk and the exhaust rusted and fell off. <laughs> oh my gosh. But that one was fun. Like, um, uh, uh, John was still new to the whole YouTube thing, so it, it took a couple of takes to put that together, but it turned out really well. And uh, that was fun. Like, um, <laughs> I remember this one. This next one coming. Match up. nine is. Uh, <laughs> all right. So next one of the jelly beans is the uh, jalapeno. Jalapeno. Okay. It's probably gonna taste. I don't like jalapeno. I don't think it's that spicy, but I just don't like jalapeno. I get that. Yeah. And bottoms up.
Uh, oh, it tastes like shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> God, I hate jalapeno ones. Oh. <laughs> that was definitely jalapeno. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this one. Original Outlaw Chris Felix, and this is the three-year anniversary of OWL Fan 19. Well, three years. But that's not what we're here about. Someone stole my hardcore championship belt because they can't come and beat me fair and square. Oh. You don't think I remember? You stealing my belt? What? Stop it. <laughs> oh, man. The science stick. The science stick. <laughs> That is like a long running <laughs> yeah. like, gag yes. in our uh, <laughs> No, now that I think of it, JT won his first hardcore <laughs> match. Science <laughs> wins the day! Science! <laughs> if you think about it, JT won that match in very high controversy. Yeah, that's true. Because you technically broke the three count. I but did. The, but the ref, who was clearly in cahoots with JT. That's true, as you see the ending. Uh, running away, yelling signs. Um, so, yeah, controversy. Yeah. So, JT. JT where's the rematch? Seriously, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, the, like you said one time, the, the longest running gag well, was is... was I cheated out of my championship. You were definitely cheated out of your championship. <laughs> but, yeah, like you said, the, the sign stick or the science gimmick with JT was the longest running gig on the channel like it was even at the point that uh, <laughs> that we even started the thing on the channel like science with parvy where he's trying to describe the wrestlers on the screen like what they're doing and all that kind of stuff in the name of science and all that kind of stuff oh god i miss jt but yeah like um after that like uh you kind of disappear for a little bit and don't know like if like here's the one that we started the intro for the first time this was fun to put together. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. There is Cayenne? A... Cayenne. Hopefully. Well, not Carolina Reaper. Well, let's find out. Bah. That didn't taste good. It's a dog. <coughs> Jelly ones are weird because like you're like oh that's sweet and then you swallow it and then it hits. Ah. Oh yeah, it did. It this one tasted nasty, but next thing you know it started to burn my mouth. Huh. <sighs> yeah, I didn't chew that one as much as I did the first one. I didn't chew it. <laughs> oh, right. although they all have tasted like shit. Yeah. To be honest. Because so far, no one has accepted my challenge. Not even my best friend. None of them accepted. Still have that game on you. Science! Science! Not the first time crack has appeared on the uh, yeah. WO channel. Science wins again! Oh, oh my god, that booty crack though. <sighs> okay, first of all, um, JT, I gotta say, like, even though you were trying to pretend to hit us with the science stick, there was a couple times you actually did hit me with the science stick, so, so yeah, even though... you actually did crack me in the back of the head with it, but, I mean, it didn't really hurt that bad. No, it, it just... was a shocker. Than it, yeah, that's what, like, that's the... That's, it was more of a shock than, like, oh, like, God, that hurt or anything. That I never just, lost like, that belt. The belt is mine. Uh, Fuck. Power. Of the science stick, and it's all mine. Oh yes, that is why I, Plurmy, am the hardcore championship of OWO Fan 19. That's right, I'm the championship. I'm not just the champion, I am the championship. That's it. No one. Didn't he say that because he could see you smiling behind the camera because he messed up? Yes. And he's just like, I'm going to keep going with it. Like, yes, he, he just, just went, went with it. And that just shows how little uh, seriousness we put into the videos. Oh, like, yeah. We're like, that's just going to make it funnier that we messed up. Just keep it in there. Like, <sighs> I'll admit, my tongue's burning a little bit now. Yeah, mine too.
<laughs> well, yeah, that, that's true. Like, we never really cared what we were doing. If it, if it makes people laugh, then that's all we cared about, is that we liked making people laugh on while making these videos. And, um, <laughs> like, I, the funny thing is that I still never came up with a gimmick. I never came up with a gimmick. Like, Plarby, JT had one, you had one, John had one. A lot of people had a gimmick, but I was the only one that never had a gimmick because I could never think of one for me. You were definitely some masked guys, if you did. Yeah, so. but the, the original one was Brandon. That's the thing. It's just like, so, it, this, this was when Brandon was kind of not wanting to be on camera, but he's kind of broken that out now, <laughs> so I think he would be okay doing that again. I'm not sure. Oh, God, my mouth. <laughs> Yeah, it start. It just it's a weird slow burn. Yeah, it's like the jellies keep it on your tongue. And I'm sweating too. I mean, we are four down. I yeah. think what something like that. Yeah, three, always... three jelly beans and some chips. All right, let's go uh, Pringles Rojo. Oh, sounds good. Uh, hot ones. All right, number sixteen. I got a little broken on the ride over here. That's fine. <laughs> All right, cheers, everybody. Dink it, dance, and sink. Thank you. Nah, I don't need to taste good. It's just hot. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot I had it now. <laughs> oh, look at the old uh, hardware belt. It was the ECW Tag Team Championship belt. <laughs> With some tape on it. Yeah. All hardcore matches. Yes, I know we put this, you know, on hold because we haven't. <coughs> <out. coughs> Hope you give them the hardcore belt at the last BCW uh, event. Juggalo we Championship Wrestling. Show, Still have that shirt. <laughs> he's supposed to be here. We don't even know where he's at. So, uh,. Uh, he should be here anytime. <laughs> like I said. There's Kate Dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Oh, honestly, one of my all-time favorite uh, weapon shots in OWO hardcore history. Yeah. And <laughs> Your those, shirts are those, those, <laughs> There's more crack in that video, too. <laughs> Welcome to the man flops. Did you catch those? <laughs> yeah, <this is> right. <laughs> Hit him with a fucking baking sheet. And then my pants start falling down. <laughs> I think I still have those shorts. Oh, like, the funny part was, is like, <laughs> you obviously were trying to stay in character, but when your shorts started to fall, you kind of started to laugh. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and also, yeah, those, uh, those flip flops. <laughs> Uh, but that was the best, like... Matt Kinko straight flipping copies mm -hmm. with those things. Like. <laughs> but yeah, that was one of your best hits on, on the uh, on the channel. It was loud, like, for how little... You know what it was, is uh, right when I was about to hit him, I let go. Yeah. And it just rang. Because, like, there was nothing to keep it from... Uh, I don't know. Science. Funny thing is, that pizza cookie sheet, whatever, that actually did break. That was the reason why it broke and I don't have it anymore. It's because of the headshot. And uh, uh, Dogstar had it, like, he took it like a champ. Like, <laughs> like he was like, oh, I'm fine. I'm okay. Is your eyes watering? A little bit. Yeah, mine too. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now Dogstar versus Chris Helix, Bash at the Beach. This is when you kidnapped <laughs> um, <laughs> Dogstar's girlfriend, a.k.a. our good buddy Stephanie. She just recently rewatched this. He's like, "Oh God, this was horrible." Wait, didn't she go by a different name? No, back no, she was just called Stephanie. Like Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> now she does. She goes by Crazy so, Annie. So, Kate Dog versus the original outs outlaw. Yeah, and this Dog is Dog Star. My bad. Two oh, Max Stars Championship reign has come oh, away. Like uh, it's uh, uh, and and uh, since his championship reign has been washed away, I think it's time that the time brings uh, something uh, new. Uh, new to the championship, hardcore scene in OWO. Oh yeah. So the now we have of the belt. all new OWO hardcore championship. Oh, God. I will hold this with pride. Uh -huh. I'm a born and raised.
raised. Dwag Star has another Dwag Star. Come and get it, bitch. Oh, that's right. D A double G. Yeah. Or W G. After the promo, Chris Helix kidnapped Dogstar's girlfriend. Okay, I did misspell on this one, and uh, it's obvious right there. But it was kind of. But also the funny part. Where are you going? I gotta get. We're back. Back again. <laughs> Okay. Get your shit together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Now this part, it's supposed to be where Dogstar has the camera and all that kind of stuff. I'm supposed to be on a vacation. But the funny thing is, if you look at the background of this. Josh, yeah. Forgot the way he talked for this uh, character. <laughs> My lips are burning. What about yours? You see, like, uh, you, Steph, and Vanessa in the background. He looks Chris Outlaw. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. 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 How did you get my phone? Froggy Kev. Like this dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> you see you guys up in the background? Me just hanging out in my fucking you know, camo. Yeah. I was full camo that day. Oh yeah, you were. Josh Cave. Josh, you. And you have a shoes on back there. He's looking for me and I'm right there. Come on, man. Get your shit together. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> one he hour. Dog poop in his hand. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, that was me. Was one hour. Away. It took him one hour to find me when I was right behind him. And we were. And the funny thing, this spot that we're at right now is the same spot we were filming. <laughs> Step in the background. This is her first time being filmed like this. So this small details, right? Yeah. Okay, the, the, oh, you see uh, Vanessa right there. Oh, this looked at you. What up? Look at that belly <laughs> And then we, we just slapped that <laughs> uh, <laughs> Doesn't even run far. Here's the thing, the reasons why she hit uh, Dogstar like that is... Notice I'm already up by before the video even ends, because I'm like, it's fucking windy, I was getting sand all over my face. <laughs> you know selling. <laughs> no selling. That's the outlaw himself right there. <laughs> uh, no selling every hardcore video. Pretty much. Uh, but the funny thing is, Steph told me the reasons why she hit Dogstar like how she did right there with the weakest hit. One, she was nervous because one, this was her first time being filmed for like uh, for like YouTube and all that kind of stuff, so she was a bit shy and all that. Also, too, she said she didn't want to hurt him. <laughs> oh man, Carolina Reaper. Now the next one is the one that I thought was really fun to do, and this was Chris's idea to do. This was a fun video. Yeah. Vanessa kind of ruined it though. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, there it is, wrestling. It's fine. <laughs> Come on, John. <laughs> Get your shit together. <laughs> Can't even keep his hand off his meat for two seconds to sit there and count in three. One, two, three, man. <laughs> Short but simple. Honestly, we were there for a while. That wasn't the first thing we filmed either. No, it wasn't. This is the first one to work. Yeah. That was, uh... Ugh. Yeah, it was hot. Yeah. I don't know about that one. <clears throat> a little bit of a slow burn on that. Uh, Just don't think that was it. not a slow burn for me. Ugh. <laughs> <coughs> no. 
my mouth is burning. <laughs> All right. This one was the last one that you were on, I believe. Oh, okay. I believe so. Okay. Are we going to eat both of them? Or are you eating one at a time? Oh, I mean, I was just going to eat some. Shit, I don't know. Let's okay. do it. Mm, kind of sweet at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. <laughs> oh, trust me, we don't want to lick our hands right no, now. No, wash it up. About this one. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's hot. Mm -hmm. There it is. Uh huh. Ah. Uh. Uh, I want to say something about this, but. I'm not like where I first put it. It still feels like it's there. Fucking <laughs> green thumb right there. I'm gonna. That's copyright infringement. Man. I'm gonna get sued by the fucking turtles. Homemakers. No, the green thumb guys. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, is this where I throw them on the combat mattress? Yes. Okay. Blood covered mattress. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oh, that heat, seriously. Oh, it just keeps coming. Oh my god. Ah. It's like the first time. I don't. Busting out the milk. Oh, I might have to. You don't want to be Oh, you in the background. <laughs> hey, it's me! Is this slender? Yes. <laughs> Meat was really cool. He, he was a lot of fun to be on the, on the channel. I miss him. Yay! Good sport about it. Oh yeah. I loved having random wrestlers on the hardcore videos. Yeah. I'm in the background of like almost every shot. <laughs> I know, I'm like that was a sign. and I definitely washed my hands up. And one of the wrestlers was watching us in the background, too. Asshole. <laughs> I think I actually hurt his knee or something. You did. Like yeah. Warning. We are not going to Oh, man. We are I don't know if, the, the, if you're on this one or not, but oh, my God. Ugh. Well, that was all we had, so I guess it's fine to uh, drink water, even though it's probably a bad idea. Uh, that's why I got milk. Oh my god. Mm. Maybe this is the cool down round or something. Maybe. Grab mm. some ice cream. What's up, man? Rabbit Chaw here, still hardcore. <laughs> Rabbit Chaw? <laughs> what the fuck? Rabbit Chung. And, uh, Rabbit Chung? Uh, yeah. Is that like some fucking... Is that like a Ron Jeremy thing? Time. No, he's supposed to be ninja. He looks like a green thumb. I think you do that. And Pete's just a green thumb guy. Uh, <laughs> English. So, that's it. Rabbit Chung, it's you, Ron Jeremy. And you can find us. I noticed every one of his characters had an issue talking. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is you. 
I gotta run. No! <laughs> oh yeah, this was the last time you held the belt. Rocky King. You've been talking a lot of shit. You know, I haven't been around in a while. That's because I've been living the dream, man. Enjoying my time. <clears throat> ah, what happened to the one where I like fell out of the truck with the liquor bottles or whatever? The liquor bottles? Ah. <laughs> Oh, that was just a promo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a good fall. <laughs> so yeah, this was the last time Chris won the uh, the uh, hardcore championship. Faces of fear. Oh, fuck me too. <laughs> and this was for like a bigger uh, thing we were gonna do that never really oh, happened. You're not the champion. Right? Yeah. Face Funny thing Fuck is, <laughs> John's wearing one of my old uh, McDonald's shirts <laughs> while I was working for McDonald's at the time. This was the uh, this was the last uh, hard <laughs> that hair. No, I know, right? Look at that hair. <laughs> wow, I look like Rufio, a fat Rufio. My surprise, motherfucker. No, he's at five. <laughs> you know what I mean, Dougie? God, I was fat in this one. <laughs> yeah, this was the uh, thing we were, we were going to continue doing, but it never happened. So. That was the end of the hard I think some videos. of us moved away is what happened, really. That's one of them. My name is... That was one of them. That a lot of people, uh, everybody moved. And also, it's just timing was not on our side. So, yeah. So, yeah. Those were the hardcore videos of us reaction and eating some spicy stuff. Oh, my God. When I stop eating the ice cream, it still burns. That scorpion uh, jerky's no joke there. No, it, it's not at all. Ugh. But even though watching those old videos again, they were fun to watch. And uh, I miss doing stuff like this with you guys, especially with you, Chris. But uh, some news is that Chris and I, we are in talking about bringing the hardcore videos back. But this time, like, uh, no vacancies and all that kind of stuff. Like, we're going to try to film them uh, ahead so we could, like, not, like, if any one of the wrestlers wanted to win it, we're going to film it at the same day. So, like, they could say, like, oh, they won it uh, a week, like, a week or a month or something like that. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to, uh, yeah, because one of the problems we would have is we somebody would win it and then we'd have to make up something because... They just wouldn't have the time for yeah. months and months and months. So, so, and also, there is a promo on the channel where the commissioner vacated this championship belt. This belt has been vacated since 2019. Hmm. So, yeah, it's been vacated. And will it come back? Yes, it will come back. It's just that we need to figure out timing, scheduling, um, also... Uh, writing like what we could do for because we want to do something that's different like we we've been to Kmart we've been to Walmart yeah. if anybody doesn't know what Kmart is that's just sad mm -hmm. but um, we went to a miniature golf course we were at the coast and all but and we want to go to some places that we never filmed before for hardcore videos and also it's time and, and you and I have talked about this it's time to put this old belt to retirement and time for a new look. It's like the longest lasting hardcore belt. Yes, this one's lasted the longest. And also, as you can tell, it's the one that's the most damaged right now. <laughs> Not just from us, but from wrestlers too. So Man, it's been around the block a few times. We've had four different looks of the hardcore championship belt. Um, the funny one is that the one that I still kind of find funny was the ECW Tag Team Championship belt. That was our hardcore belt with tape on it. <laughs> and uh, the first belt that you debuted was actually a ring use championship belt. It was the Pacific Northwest Heritage Championship belt. 
I almost rubbed my eye. I forgot. I almost forgot. Oh this. God! Don't do that. <laughs> I almost did that. I almost rubbed. <laughs> but um, the the first belt was just a belt I found on eBay, and I don't have it anymore. Um, this one I bought from Dog Star, oh. and I got the side plate, not the side plate, the main plate. I got a wrestler or a belt maker made this for me, replaced the other main plate on it, and put this one on. And again, this one was the longest version of the hardcore belts that we've had, but I'm surprised it's like, I had to Gorilla Glue it, I had to try to keep it together and all that kind of stuff. This belt has broke multiple times. Part of it's our fault, <laughs> but... Yeah, but it, it's done what it was set out to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, most hardcore belts <clears throat> don't stay good looking for very long if true. they ever started out good looking. That's true. But I do, ha I did have fun watching these, and it made me want to bring back these videos again. And we are thinking of an idea for a new look for a championship belt. We're not going to tell you what it's going to look like. That's a surprise that we're trying to work on. But. Out of all the hardcore matches that you were a part of, Chris, which one was your favorite one that that you were a part of? Um, honestly, probably I think it was probably that first one where I hit you with the cookie sheet because <laughs> it was the like we never thought there was going to be drama surrounding any of the videos. Yeah, true. In it, instant just drama, drama, drama. Everybody's like, oh my god. And then like people were like, you shouldn't sow blood. And I'm like, what? what? That wasn't blood. That was ketchup. Yeah. It really was ketchup. That's the funny thing. I, I We actually, I think we went to McDonald's that day and, and got some ketchup. <laughs> and I, we decided, like, I didn't have any fake blood, so I just put ketchup on my head. Yeah, that's why it's funny that people even believe that it was real. <laughs> that's true. Uh, yeah, that, that was a good one. Um... Uh, one of mine was still, I believe, is the uh, the one where we did the at the coast, because that's the one we took the most timing to film, and also do directing and all that kind of stuff and editing to make it look like a like sort of like an old eighties fighting movie where we had to have the camera up close to you guys and then further away so like Doc Stark or whatever his name was to walk around you and all that kind of stuff. If you, if you think about it, it's almost like, it's like we thought the, that Hardy-style match before they did. Yeah, like that's, that's true. That calm town thing. That's, that's, that's true. That's true. We that's did. kind of what we were going for, some sort of like highly edited, and you know, nobody does that in wrestling. True. It was completely different. I just thought of something. I just remembered something. After when we uploaded that video of, uh, of us at the uh, miniature golf course, uh, I believe it was a couple of days later or a week later, Raw did a 24-7 championship um, match between R-Truth and Jinder Mahal, and they were playing golf. Oh. And I was like, we were just thinking about that. I remember us talking about that. I was like, we just did something like that similar a week ago and all that kind of stuff. It was just like, it was kind of funny. That, like, I know they probably they probably thought of that before we did, but still, it's just like one of those... Uh, we filmed it definitely before they did that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Because, you know, we film those videos and then they go up, like, you know, who knows, a week or something later. Yeah. yeah. But that, those were fun. But, uh, yeah, I think um, out of all of them, I believe the um, the, the uh, Bash at the Beach one was my favorite one that we did. It was fun. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Uh, wasn't there one that somebody landed in dog poop in one that of the videos? That was me. That was you, yeah. That was me. <laughs> I could not see without my glasses, so that was me. Like, um, didn't know there was dog poop, and uh, <laughs> uh, Dog Star hit me, or it was Rabbit Chung, I don't remember, hit me with a, a baseball bat, a small baseball bat like you get at the uh, baseball games. I fell front ward and uh, landed on dog poop, didn't even know it until I, re until I saw, and uh, John was doing the ref thing, counting, but... He couldn't see either until you until you watch the video. You see him counting his hand hitting the dog poop where my head landed. Wasn't <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. it like he actually four counted that too? If I yes, he correctly. did. He four counted it. Yes. He pulled the WWE ref thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those were fun. Those were really fun. But yeah, we will bring them back. That's the one thing we we will promise you. We will bring back.
we were going to bring it back in 2020, but then the whole pandemic thing started, so we had to put that on hold. Hey, you try to get in trouble when people see us out having fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, right now, I believe we could do it right now. Like, I think we could have done, like, start filming a year ago right now, actually. Yeah. So, but we're going to still, we're going to work on scripts, ideas, and all that kind of stuff, but we will bring the hardcore videos back. So this, uh, and also this is wasn't another thing I wanted to do with you, Chris. Is just like rewatch some of the old videos uh, of our hardcore videos because, like, again, <clears throat> uh, sorry, heat. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't really gone away. No, it hasn't. Because a ten year anniversary, and uh, it's been one heck of a ride. I can tell you that. And uh, again, Chris, thank you for being a part of the show for ten years. I really do appreciate it, brother. <laughs> You're welcome, man. I mean, it, uh, it was a uh, hell of a ride. I didn't even realize until you told me that it had been 10 years. I was like, really? <laughs> like, you know, it didn't seem like it had been that long. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we went to so many wrestling shows. We've been to WCWC, uh, DOA, BCW, NWP, WWE, WWE and also the Canada ECCW. We've been to so many wrestling shows, so much adventures that we went on, and so many people that we met. Some were good, some were bad, but that happens in life. But we had such a fun ride. It was always you and me and JT. It was always the three of us when we went on these adventures. Walking through? Yeah. Mm. And where we had our friend Tiffany join us. And uh, she's doing good, by the way initiative but uh yeah out of all the uh, wrestling shows that we went to i know i asked you like which one was your favorite moment but out of all the shows that we've been, been to what was the one that you enjoyed the most i feel like we went to doa mostly i mean it was definitely that doa hardcore show that i remember enjoying them like one of the most ones yeah for sure <laughs> remember we got the fans to start chanting nurse at cleveland yeah. He still hates us for that, by the uh, way. There was one show where I learned uh, that the people that you think are cool, like maybe ones you, uh, that were big stars back in the day, mm -hmm. after they fall out and they're not a big star anymore, that ego trip that they're on uh, from when they're a big star still kind of lasts, and a lot of them are kind of dicks. <laughs> I'm not going to mention any names because I don't speak ill of... Uh, I think he's dead now, so I'm not going to speak ill of the dead, but he was definitely a, uh, not the nicest person in the world. Yeah. Um, I could tell you the coolest wrestler that we've talked to and, and hung out with a couple of times, um, Adam Pierce was one of them. Adam Pierce, yeah. Never thought I'd see him on WWE. I know, right? Seeing, seeing him on WWE now is weird. I'm like, dude, we have video, we had a video with him and it's like, <laughs> like if he, like, Adam Pierce was like legitimately like the coolest guy to to talk to, and uh, he was a great bad guy when he was wrestling in the independents. Oh man, that's why it was like even to get an interview with him. Then we were like, this is freaking cool. We never thought, oh yeah, no, we're gonna have that interview, that one interview before he becomes WWE. No, mm -hmm. that was never the case. Yeah, but I'm really happy where Adam is right now. Oh, you know, another cool thing that always happened with us every time we went to wrestling? Darren Corbin, Skittles. Ah. Uh, <laughs> him and a, uh, remember we called him Skittles because of his tights. Yeah, because he always had, like, rainbow tights. A good yeah. old ginger snap. <laughs> I think one of my favorite moments at an event, uh, not the whole event, just a moment. Uh, it was at WCWC uh, when I, I yelled at a wrestler. I'm like, you wrestle like you've been trained by Eugene. Uh, Freddy Bravo. Freddy Bravo. And he was uh, a bad guy at the time. I don't know if he still is. but yeah, He still he, is. He was a bad guy. And uh, he turned around and like he laughed when I said that. Like I, He broke character, so it was kind of like one of those moments where I was like, huh. Yeah. Like I got him. Like I, I, I was just trying to make him break character. That's all I wanted. I, I'm, I'm glad he laughed and you know didn't get furious with me about it. <laughs> yeah, he was really cool. We talked to him after the show too. He said, "Oh, dude, that was funny." Like, yeah. Um, another funny moment that happened to us is uh, you remember when the 
the zombie princess Jimmy Jacobs sit next to us and put your <laughs> camel jacket on him, trying to hide from the match. Can't see me. You can't see me. <laughs> yeah, that jacket will never smell the same again. That's for sure. He was real sweaty. Oh, so it smelled bad. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was a little moist. Oh, okay. After he uh, put it down, yeah. It, was there, like, another wrestler that you had fun, like, talking to for, like, like with the show that we'd done and all that kind of stuff, like, where we hung out? Yeah, Petrov. Petrov was great. Yeah. <laughs> Remember you called him a backyarder? Oh, yeah, and that's always been a running <laughs> gag. We've ran into him at concerts we've gone to and stuff, and we joke around, and he's like, oh, backyard, uh, blah, 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 blah. But it's all fun and games, you know. He, he understands, you know, we all the... Uh, we all got our uh, our gimmicks and stuff that we do and our kayfabe that we do and that's I just kind of been job. my thing, yeah. you know, like being that stick it to everybody person. <laughs> oh, and also another thing that we did, you took me to my first concert. Yeah. You took me to go see ICP for the first time. I think was that for their 25th anniversary of uh, Riddlebox. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah, that was like the first concert that I've ever been to and you took me to that one. We got on stage. That was great. <laughs> Shaggy full on like scooped my butt. It was weird <laughs> uh, when we were on stage because some guy pushed me into him and then he like scoop spread my butt cheeks and I'm like, hello, that is invasive. Uh, grabbed a two liter of Fago and hopped off the stage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a Shout really cool. Shout out to Shaggy the butt grabber. Go to the butt <laughs> snatcher over here. <laughs> Go subscribe to his YouTube channel and podcast. Shaggy Two Butts over here. <laughs> <laughs> and another concert that we went to was Two Twisted. Cheeks, there we go. Two, oh, two cheeks. cheeks. Shaggy, yeah, two, shaggy cheeks. two Cheeks. There I like that. <laughs> uh, we went to go see Twisted. Oh, yeah. But well, we didn't stay for the whole show, though. No, I remember Whitney Payton was there. I got on stage with Whitney Payton. That was great seeing her there. Me and the guy uh, were dancing so much on one side of the stage that we ended up unplugging like half of the stage. That's uh, yeah, an embarrassing moment. Uh, I was also bald then, so a lot of people thought things of me that weren't true. But <laughs> let's just say I do not look good bald. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, shaved off. Uh, I had a mohawk that I shaved. Oh off. yeah, it I was remember like the mohawk. Down to here or yeah, yeah, I, I remember like, the mohawk. mohawk. Yeah. And that was also when we saw our, our friend Deb. You remember her? Yeah. I I miss Deb. She was cool. Oh, yeah. And did you ever go to... You went to an NWA event with us, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. So we went to that one. I too. think it was in, like, Corvallis or something. Yeah. It? Yeah. 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 The word Drexel licked me. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but again... Chris, thank you for being on OWL for 10 years. Even though you weren't really on it that much, again, for the past 10 years, I really do appreciate you being on the show, brother. Yeah, I mean, I've been on and off and on. Uh, I've wrecked my stomach on this show before, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not the first time we've done some sort of weird food challenge. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Probably not going to be the last. <sighs> no. No, I'm just glad I didn't have to lose chest hair or anything, you know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> relaxing. <laughs> well, you're, you're the one that didn't take the bet, so. <laughs> hey, man, I don't, I don't take bets that are going to make me have to. No, Pain? I, yeah, none of that. Well, I mean, no, this wasn't a bet. This no, was this was just. Hard, a, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, sometimes there's. Fun and the pain. Uh, I would on those ones. I just uh, I, I like seeing people with, with the the wax. That that that's hilarious. I wanted to see it. I didn't want to be a part of that. I get it. Uh -huh. I get it. But yeah, that was a one time thing. That if you don't know what we're talking about, there'll be a playlist on the the link down below to check out the the wax thing that we did on the channel. Not gonna say who. You gotta check it out for yourself. <laughs> But yeah, again, thank you, Chris, for yeah. being on here. I Thanks really for did. having me again, man. It was great having you back on the channel. And thank you, Maniacs, for watching. Really do appreciate it. Um, is there anywhere we could find you on the social media? I know you don't do YouTube anymore. Uh, do a, a ran, or at Random Helix on TikTok. And go follow him on TikTok, yeah. Instagram. Don't go to Facebook anymore. <laughs> no, just TikTok and Instagram. I don't really upload on YouTube anymore. Yeah, yeah, uh, but uh, I did do a voting poll on my channel not that long ago, and I told you about this one. 
uh, should Chris Healings bring back Future Wrestling Observer? And a lot of people want that show back. Uh, maybe it would have a, a different uh, life on TikTok, you know, shorts. You know, that'd be okay. I think FWO could survive in shorts. Uh, I don't know if I'd ever want to do the full length FWO again. No, I get that. Yeah. Well, maybe you could do it like this if you ever did bring it back. If you ever come over, watch a pay per view or watch a pay per view at home, uh, watch that match. And just talk about that, what you liked about it, what you hate, yeah. and wait till the whole entire pay reviews over and give your ratings and thoughts about it. True. I mean, uh, FWO is missing out right now with all the uh, Vince McMahon crap oh, going on. Oh my gosh, and, yeah. Uh, the uh, character I used to do on FWO would uh, be reaming the sh out of Vince McMahon right now, that's for sure. Vince is gone. Yeah. And <laughs> I can tell you right now, WWE doing way better and that's one of the reasons to stop doing fwo too is a lot of the wrestling that i was watching was like slacking and you know wwe was bringing all the companies down because tna was starting to suck uh our uh, which roh sucks. was even sucking at that time i was like hey, what's going on man like everybody was just kind of happy being pg yeah, yeah. <laughs> wwe doesn't seem pg anymore no it's it's getting back to the tv 14 days yes yeah. so yeah you should really check out some of the current wwe right now AEW has its ups and downs so uh right now it's not doing good in the right now uh, yeah but anyways thank you chris again for being on here follow him on tiktok check his stuff out on tiktok and instagram you could find me here on oregon wrestling observer follow me on tiktok instagram and twitter and also go like the oregon wrestling observer facebook page chris thank you for coming back and thank you brother i really do appreciate it thanks for having me back love you brother it's fun getting spicy together oh yeah <laughs> nasty <laughs> <laughs> And it's not going to be the last time either. I guarantee you we will eat something spicy on this channel again down the road. It's, this is the third time, so I know it's not. We still need to find the Carolina Reaper. Oh, boy, there. <laughs> you on said we note, would do it. We I'm out. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, thank you, Maniacs, for watching. My name is Joshua James. I'm Chris Helix. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to bring it back. And we are... OWO. Tapping out. <laughs> Broken most from parts unknown Simplify wonders of why Broken promises revealed